Greetings everyone, Red Honey here, back with another toy review. It's going to be of a safari dinosaur. Uh, if any of you have seen any of my reviews from re before, you guys know I have this figure. Uh, I just haven't reviewed him yet. Uh, don't know why, but he's going to be reviewed today. Mm -hmm. As always, be careful when cutting plastic and all that good stuff. Don't want any accidents here now, do we? Holster this. Queen of Hearts, thank you, as always, for joining us here. So like all the other safari dinosaurs, the Diplodocus comes in the plastic. Very nice, very nice. Kick your tail out. And... Mm -hmm. So, here we go. This is a really gorgeous, uh, whole... Oh. I'm speechless right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just doing this review on the fly, and this figure has been in the plastic the entire time I've had him, until just right now, until I've cut him out, and cutting him out now and finally getting to see him. Holy crap, this is a really nice Diplodocus by Safari. The tag around his neck. Is the tag. It's the normal Safari tag, Diplodocus. This is the new Diplodocus version that they have done. And oh, it's a really big step up from the old one. Here's the old one. Here's the old one and new ones standing side by side somewhat. Do excuse me, these are fairly large figures, so trying to fit both of these on the camera at the same time isn't the easiest. But if you have a good enough eye, you can spot this original Diplodocus Safari figure right here in the first Jurassic Park film. Oh, look, I'm sorry, this is that's impossible. This is a... We just dug up a new skeleton. Want to play I Spy? Go watch the first Jurassic Park and try to spot this figure in the background somewhere. Woohoo! The old Safari Diplodocus. Shame it's not being made. And I don't even think this new version's being made anymore because I think the Safari dinosaurs are done. Uh, I'm not sure, but this figure's got really nice colors. Almost very similar to the original. It's just got a bunch of different shades of green, but I love this. I mean... It's got this really light green cream color here for like the bottom, which switched to an even lighter whitey underbottom, but it's kind of like this tanny green. And then there's like even a little bit of brown thrown in just before the even darker green on the top. Really freaking awesome by Safari. The tail isn't really bendable, but it can move. I, I don't want to break it. But the tail can kind of bend, but it kind of sits in this circular motion like it's about to be cracked. Like a whip, almost. Like <laughs> Everyone knows Diplodocus had a really extremely long tail, and yeah. But thing to even note, too, uh, if this camera will pick it up, towards the end of the tail, you can see he's got these little stripes would have been cool if that went up the entire figure instead of just towards the end of the tail you can kind of see there's not much blue on this figure there's only a little blue right here up by his head on both sides and a little bit down by the tail so the colors aren't really that crazy uh, to me just like before in the Brachiosaurus it's got like this elephant foot almost elephant looking foot and it's back twos. Very nice. Uh, I enjoy this one a lot more than the original. This is a really nice upgraded Diplodocus figurine by Safari LTD. They they definitely hit a home run out of the park with this, a grand slam. If you can come across this and find it, do pick this up if you like the Safari dinosaurs. You will not be disappointed. Uh, this is a really 
I am speechless almost with this. Uh, it's a really nice Diplodocus figure by Safari. Uh, the question that remains now is, will anyone out there be picking this up, or do you already have this figure in your collection? Here's the Brachiosaurus. So, pretty average for the size here for both of these. They're both really uh, somewhat accurate standing next to each other. The way they have this neck stretched out and then the tail, like this is just a ginormous figurine by Safari LTD Carnegie right there. Carnegie Diplodocus 1.40 scale 2006 Safari LTD Miami, Florida, USA made in China. Really freaking awesome, the detail that Safari's kind of been upgrading into their dinosaurs. I, I freaking love it. Uh, I was always a fan of the original Diplodocus. So even like, even the little slight detail of going in and put like little, these little circular bumps in all over the figure. All the way down the figure, like it's just nuts. But I, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And the colors on this work. I mean, the blue is a little... The blue up here by the head's a little um, whatever's. But it, it's all right. I don't mind. And as always, the eye. Safari really nailed the head on this again. Really awesome, the eye. And his goofy teeth. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love this figure. And you should definitely pick him up if you like other safari stuff. This is a really awesome Diplodocus figurine. If you aren't lucky enough to find the original Diplodocus right here, slightly off camera because he's so tall. But uh, yeah, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed this review and if you had this figure or if you're looking to get this Diplodocus. I highly recommend him. He's really awesome. I kind of almost even like him somewhat more than the original Diplodocus here just because of the pose he's in. It's more, how do I say, neutral. Like he's facing forward and his head's not turned back like this and then looking off to the side. It's facing forward. So really nice upgrade to the Diplodocus from the Safari line. Pick this figure up. Subscribe for more video reviews here by Red Hanya. There will be lots of more stuff coming, whether it be Papo, Safari, or Kenner, or Hasbro, Jurassic Park stuff. I will be seeing you in the next review, but until then, everyone, take care. Have a great week, and go see Jurassic World if you still haven't yet. Uh, what are you doing?